the sight of Wesley Hall charging in is off the chart. The old chain swaying, but it sways against his enormously strong body. And he ran a longish way, beside him, big strong axe and huge move of the front foot, and then he landed and bowled at real pace. And he bowled all day at real pace. Great strength, great stamina, great mental ability to stay in the game. Difficult guy to face towards the end of the day. When the batsmen are trying to wind down and get to the close, and Wes would make life very difficult for you. He it was who bowled the, uh, the last over in the famous tie test in Brisbane when uh, uh, Frank Worrell, who was captain, um, implored him not to bowl a no ball uh, with one run still required to, to win the game. Uh, a remarkable last over which saw three wickets fall, two run outs and a drop catch um, and all the game ending in the first ever tied test match. Um, he also took a hat-trick against Pakistan in 1959, very early on in his, in his career, the first West Indian to take a, a test match hat-trick. And Wes was always in the hunt. Every time he was given the ball by his captain, you thought, oh, <laughs> Wes is back. Famous for a partnership with Charlie Griffith for a period, and nothing could be more daunting, full of both character and personality, and he brought that to his cricket. West Indies have never had anybody give them more on the field of play than Wes. They might have had people who have given as much, but never more. <laughs>